Okay, let's take a look at Philip's question here. Philip says that if you originally bought a pair of shoes that was supposed to be $55, but it was discounted by 40%, and then discounted by another 25%, how much should it cost? He thinks he may have been overcharged, and he wants to know if it should have been $19.25 instead of $24.75. Okay, Philip, let's take a look at what we can do here. We know that the original item was $55. And then that item was discounted by 40%. So if it was discounted by 40%, then what was remaining was 60%. If you take 40% away from the total price, so if we had the original price was 100%, and we take away 40%, then we get... 60%. So if it was discounted by 40%, you should have paid 60% or 0 0.6. Does that make sense? Then it said it was discounted by another 25%. So similarly, if it was now our new price, whatever that is, if we consider that the whole price now, so we have 100%, which is our new whole price, the discounted one, and we take away 25% of that, then the remainder is 75%. So you'll have your original price, and you'll pay 60% of that, and then you'll pay 75% of that price, of the originally discounted price. So let's see what happens if we run this through a calculator. We get 55 times 0 0.6. That gives us 33. So that's $33. And then we take that times 0.75, and we get 24.75. Looks like that was the right price. Now let's see if we can figure out why it came up 19.25 when you calculated it. Ah, you know what? I have a suspicion. Um, if it was originally $55, and you were thinking that it was discounted by 40% and 25%, which would be 65%, then you would say you had your original price 100% and you discounted 65%, then you should only be paying 35%. wonder if that's how you calculated it. Uh, let's see, $55 times 0.35. So run that through a calculator. 19.25. Yep, that's exactly what happened. So what happened here is that you need to uh, note that since it was discounted by 40% and then discounted by another 25%, the 25% discount was only off of the smaller price, the price that had already been marked down to. So it ended up taking away a smaller amount from the total price because it was only 25% of 33 that was discounted, not 25% of 55. So you can't just add those two things together and get one big discount because they didn't say that they were discounting by 40 40% plus 25%. You said it was discounted by 40% and then 25%. So this calculation over here doesn't fit. So yeah, 24.75 is the right price. Sounds like you may have still gotten a pretty good deal. It's half off, approximately a little more than that actually. So I think you did pretty well.